Welcome back to the Metro Madness League. We are here today watching 60 Sleepers take on the Strawberry Skitties. The Sleepers cannot afford another loss here. They are one and two in the season. They do not want to go one in three because that is, it, it's not completely out of the playoffs, but you're, you're getting pretty close to not being able to make it through the season. The Skitties not doing as well either, but they are 0-2 right now because they forced a tie where they didn't force the tie. The tie was forced upon them by the Sylveons and uh, they are trying to make up for that. So a win here will put them above the sleepers. There goes a bolt tackle though and Sandown takes out the Sabo immediately. My gosh. The sleepers have not come to play around. They want this win and they need it badly the drizz out comes out sand out below half its health though Let's see if we can deal with another water type pokemon this time one that is stronger there goes the confide confide lowering sand stats here we go sand gonna go with a psy shock interesting move see how much damage that'll do not a whole lot might need to go with something different um, other than those type of moves. Not really working for the Sandow there. Here comes the Thundershock, though. Doesn't affect the Sandow. That gives the Sleepers a free move. They're definitely happy about that mistake from the Skitties. Here comes a Horn Leech. That's a Grass-type move, I believe. Yes, yeah, super effective. And not only that, it's going to get some health back. Sandow doing excellent out here for the Sleepers tonight. There we go. We'll see if Sandow can sweep through the team. We haven't seen a sweep this season. But, oh, man, has it come close sometimes. There goes the Hydro Pump, though. That's stab and super effective. I don't think Sandow can withstand it. It doesn't. Sandow goes down. Sandow did a great job while he was on the field, though. Sleeper's definitely happy with that. And they're going to go ahead and send out their second Pokemon, which is the Cat. Also weak to water, so we're going to have to be careful. With the Torcat here is Intimidate. Gonna lower Drizal's attack stat. That may help them out a little bit. Drizal, the faster of the two, gonna go first. It goes for a sheer cold. It's avoided. No one hit KO for the Skitties tonight. There goes the Weather Ball, though. No weather out, so this is gonna be a normal type move. Weather Ball actually doing a decent amount of damage. Drizal in the danger zone. Torcat gonna go again. Is it a speed tie? It must be a speed tie. Here comes the tar shot from Torcat. That's going to get rid of the fire type resistance that Drizzle has. And of course, also lower its speed. So now Torcat can use a stab fire move and it will be neutral. Wait, Drizzle goes for a tar shot. They're just trading the tar. So now Torcat doesn't have a fire type resistance either. We'll see if that affects either one of these two Pokemon in the future. Torcat. Gonna go first. And it goes for a poison powder. Interesting. Usually that's a good move, but Drizzle's HP is already low. Might have just wanted to save the poison powder for the full uh a Pokemon with full health. Here comes the air cutter. Air cutter doing a good amount of damage. No crit. There goes the poison, but Drizzle hangs on with just a little bit. One more turn. We'll see how much damage it can do. Drizzle going first this time. It's going to go with the Fury Swipes. If it hits five times, that can do a decent amount of damage. There goes two. Oh, it was a crit. Critical hidden there. There's three. It hits three times, but the crit definitely hurt them. Cat looking to retaliate. It's going to go with a power split. Every time I say looking to retaliate, I swear they don't go for an attacking move. It's like they... They're against me. <laughs> but Drizzle faints to the poison. And there we go. So Torcat comes away with the win there, but not after taking, uh, only after taking a decent amount of damage. Inteleon, last Pokemon on the Skitties, just coming down to the wire for them. Everything's on the line. Neither one of these teams can afford a loss. Here we go. Inteleon with the Aurora Sphere. Is Torcat Dark type or is that not intuitive balls? I'm not sure. Oh, it doesn't matter. Torcat faints anyway. 
And the sleeper's down to their last Pokemon. There goes the Vanillux coming out onto the field for the sleepers. Against the Inteleon, both these Pokemon were full HP. Only downside is Inteleon has used one Metronome, giving a extremely tiny advantage to the Vanillux. And here we go, the Hail comes out due to the Vanillux, so that's only going to affect Inteleon, helping the sleepers out. Here goes the Takedown. Takedown, of course, going to do some recoil damage after it does a decent amount to the Vanillux. Vanilla X goes with the sweet scent. Interesting. No accuracy lowering or evasiveness raising moves have been used, so I'm not sure the sweet scent was needed. But it's there. Maybe if they try for a one hit KO move, it'll help them out. Here comes the Atelion going for a fire punch. That's going to be a super effective hit. Oh my goodness. Vanilla X. Right outside the danger zone there after taking that strong hit. It goes for a Leer. I think the sleepers are trying to set up. Not expecting to be hit by a fire type move from this water type Pokemon. But it has happened. And now Inteleon's on top of the battle. There we go. Liquidation. That's a stab water move. Is not resisted. And that's Infinilix faints. That is it. Great job by the Inteleon. And sadly, the Sleepers are going to lose it. They're forced all the way down to the bottom of their division while the Skitties move up a little bit. Uh, they are now one and two. Great job by the Skitties there. They're sneaking up there. We got to keep an eye out for the Skitties. Uh, the three teams ahead of them, if they lose their next match and the Skitties win, then the Skitties are going to pass them up as well. So... The Skitties making a few teams nervous. The Growler Pack, Incineroars, and Shadow Squad are going to have to watch out. We'll see what happens in the next week between these two teams. Special thanks to our patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to become a patron, you can click the link in the description below, as well as the link to our Discord, because we want you to be a part of our community. We'll love to have you, so follow us on Discord and have a good conversation with us and talk about these metronome battles. With that being said, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Metronome Madness League, and I will catch you next time.